What's going on is Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. We're continuing to deal with the fallout residual effects of what's going on in real estate, housing, uh, impending possibility of being in a recession. For some of you guys, you're already in a recession, inflation, bad economic policy, uh, civil unrest, uh, people not doing what's in their best interest, and then they have to pay the price as a result of it. And so in this article uh, specifically, I want to go through and I want to show you guys some of the things of how uh, homeowners, not homeowners, but specifically landlords, how they're now benefiting. Remember when, remember when, here, let me, let me come off of this for a second. Remember when in the pandemic, uh, nobody gave uh, two cents about landlords and it was just like, y'all skip them, whatever, whatever happened to them, so on and so forth. Remember them days? I remember. I do. Thankfully, I never went through any of that with any of my tenants because I was able to vet effectively. If you're not a part of the Patreon and there is a video in there on exactly what it is that you need to do in order to make sure that you get the right tenants inside of your property so that you don't find yourself in a position to where you hate being in real estate because you're dealing with problem tenants. That's in there. Link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. But anyways, long story short, you guys had no, no mercy for the landlords. It's, I'm not paying my rent. The, the rent moratorium is in. Biden is making sure that we taking care of and all of that. Okay, cool. Now everything has come full circle, right? Price strapped, home buyers sidelined by bidding wars, surging mortgage rates and mounting inflation are facing yet another housing hurdle, sky high rent. Ultimately, and this is the thing that I was trying to emphasize to you guys for a long time is that the buck gets passed to you. No matter who complains at the bottom or in the middle, because the middle class are the ones that's getting gutted. No matter who complains, it always comes back to you. You are the one that's going to be paying these higher taxes. You are the ones that are going to be paying for all of these social programs. You are the one that is going to be paying for the inflation and the recession. It's coming out of your pocket. And the more that you work, if you do not understand how money works, right? And you need to book a personal session, Anton Daniels, 413 at gmail.com. That's my email address. We get you scheduled. If you don't understand the language of money, you're going to be on the outs. You're going to be on the outside looking in of wealth building tools that ultimately can affect not only you, but the generations to come. According to real estate brokerage Redfin, the median monthly rent in the U.S. surpassed 2000 for the first time in May, rising 15.2% from a year earlier to a record high of $2,002, meaning that it's even surpassed the rate of inflation, which is currently at a 41 year high of 8.6%. Whenever extra costs are incurred from a business perspective or inflation hits, the middle class are the ones that get gutted. Now you might say, well, that's why it's better to own a home. It's not that simple, but I digress. Let's continue. Although renting has become more expensive for many, it's the only option as rising mortgage rates have reduced the buying power of entry home shoppers and slashed confidence levels. One of the things that I'm starting to see across the industry is that institutional investors are starting to buy up all of the single family homes. America has been for sale. Kanye West was right. America is for sale. One thing that I was doing during the pandemic when everybody else was refinancing and it was trying to compete for these houses and offering 50 and $60,000 above asking price for these properties, you know what we were doing? We were positioning ourselves to buy up all of the land. And then as building materials and costs continue to go down, we're going to start building the properties ourselves with our own money. No financing, no loans, no nothing. Just 100% dedicated to making sure that we taking care of business. Let's continue. A lot of people that are not able to purchase have now found themselves bidding for rental homes. Um, Pete Beckford, premier realtor at Remax based in Atlanta, told Yahoo Finance Live in a video. Uh, we've gotten a quite a bit of influx of applicants and it's getting pretty hectic. You're never going to find uh, a shortage of quality tenants at this point. You're never going to find a shortage, a shortage of quality tenants because one thing is for sure and two things is for certain. Everybody needs housing. 
So everybody needs a place to stay. So the question just becomes the quality of tenant because you can pretty much as a landlord, again, let's go back to that whole conversation of nobody had any mercy on landlords and it just was what it was and so on and so forth. You can pretty much name your price based off of the area that you're in in order to make sure that you pass the cost and a buck of, of inflation onto the consumers, right? Because everybody will need a place to stay. And inflation hits everybody. It hits people on the front end and the purchasing process. Again, we already ran over the idea that there was a bidding war for different properties when you had historically low rates and money was cheap. But then on the flip side, now that people can't sell the properties, your ability to finance the properties and service the mortgage of the loan is going down significantly based off of the fact that the Fed is raising rates in order to make sure that they fight inflation. The only people that are coming out of this with their shirt on is the people that continue to invest, not raise their lifestyle, but continue to contribute money and finances into making sure that they are the ones, they are the bank. They getting it on both sides. The landlords, the owners, the property owners. Now, is ways to make sure that you can continue to increase your net worth much faster so that you not worried about the property necessarily cash flowing. The property does need the cash flow, but uh, you don't want to live off of that cash flow in order to, you know, supplement your lifestyle. But that's uh, stuff that we talk about in the Patreon. Uh, and then it goes on to talk about the stiff competition amongst rent it, uh, tenants. Somebody said they had rentals myself up to $3,500 per month that seen, uh, that have seen 50 to 75 applicants within the first 12 hours. A large applicant pool and overqualification of that pool has let, led owners and landlords to be a lot more selective. They can pick and choose. I told you the pool became better. Um, as a result of the highly competitive environment, some hopeful renters in major metro areas like Atlanta, where the median asking rent price has increased 18% year over year to $21,143, have had no other choice than to check in to the extended stay hotels. Sheesh. And then they give you a breakdown of exactly where um, the most expensive from a rental perspective um, it is across America. Approximately 79% of the respondents said in May that it's a bad time to buy a home up from 76% a month prior, up 70, another 70% of those surveyed expected mortgage, mortgage rates to continue to increase uh, over the next year, further chipping away at the affordability levels. Wow. Instead of having to bid against 20 plus people, they may be bidding against five or less folks now. And this is for people that's in the rental and the purchasing of a property. I do see some softening of the rental market and it brings some level of optimism for those that are interested in the market. Long story short, um, if you are not on the inside, then you're on the outside looking in and we're going to continue to buy property. We know that there's people that are starting to lose their jobs. And so somebody got to take control of that market. Might as well be us. Make sure you join the bag chasers. Link is in the Patreon. Link to the Patreon is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. And again, you need to kick it with me personally. You know how to get in touch with me. But we want to be the ones that control the money, control the power. We want to be the banker. We don't want to be consumer. We don't want to be the business owner. We want to be the banker. That's where the money is. I love you. I appreciate you. I love to get your thoughts. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, uh, TikTok. And then also on Facebook and uh, what's the other one? Twitter, Twitter. Make sure you follow me on all those platforms. Subscribe to the channel and then hit a like for the YouTube algorithm. I love you. I appreciate you. I'm going to holler at you guys later. Peace. Stay focused. Stay focused, my friends.